Hey guys, my name's Curtis and I am one half of the channel of Curtis and Chelsea. Chelsea's not gonna be in this video today. I'm gonna be handling this one all by myself. She's currently working on a project that we're gonna be announcing shortly. So stay tuned, subscribe to our channel so you can see what surprise I am talking about. We make weekly videos about travel and how to afford it. And in this week's video, I'm gonna be going over the Brevity, Brevite, Brevity, Brevite jumper backpack. <laughs> So just before we start, I do want to say that we are not a photography channel, but we have had some requests of people asking us to do more photography tutorials throughout this next year. So I thought I'd start with something that we use every day besides a camera that everybody's going to need no matter what. Now, whether you're just starting out or you're a hobbyist photographer, you're probably not going to want to spend a whole bunch of money on a camera backpack. This Brevity backpack that we're going to be talking about is only $119. It's very budget friendly, but it's also built very well. This also checked off all my needs that I was looking for, which we'll talk about a bit later. Now this backpack is very discreet and I'm not a fashionista by any means, but uh, this backpack does look pretty cool and it does not look like a camera backpack, which I personally don't like. I don't like walking around and everybody knowing I'm a photographer. I'd rather go under the radar, have my backpack on with my camera in it and nobody's the wiser. So Chelsea and I do go traveling quite often, but we also consider road trips or weekend trips a part of our traveling schedule as well. That being said, I don't want a big backpack that's clunky, that takes up a lot of space. I am looking for a good backpack that is good for every day, that's good for short trips, and it's not gonna take up a lot of room. I say discreet and convenient because my first backpack was the Low Pro 350 LS or something like that. Now this backpack is a great backpack. I used it for the last year, I think, straight. Really big, it holds all my camera equipment, it holds more than I ever need. It's very well built. Again, I've used this for a year straight and I'm still gonna continue to use it on longer trips, but for the size, it is too big for every day and I mean, if you're trying to be discreet this is not the backpack that you're going to use this sticks up like a sore thumb if anybody knows the brand they're going to know your photographer right away this is a pretty popular backpack as well so if somebody sees it on you they're going to know right away that you're a photographer also not to mention how heavy this backpack can be once you have the space you're going to use it you're going to fill this backpack up you're going to try to bring as much as you can thinking that you're going to use all this gear you usually never do especially how i'm using this again as an everyday backpack or short trips i don't need all my equipment with me i just need something that's going to carry all of my camera equipment safely and conveniently that being said the bag that i purchased last month that i've been extremely happy with is the brevity jumper backpack the reason that I chose this camera backpack is that I was looking for something stylish, discreet. It had to fit my camera body, plus two lenses at least, my tripod, and my gimbal, as well as charging cables, GoPro, any slick, any sort of little stuff like that. And I also wanted to fit my, my 15 inch laptop. Now, when I set out on this, I think I gave myself an impossible task of trying to find all those different criteria to fit in a bag like this, but I actually found it and I've been super happy. So if I open up this first pouch, you can see that usually I carry, I have a Sony a7 III, usually I carry my a7 III in here. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna show you Chelsea's camera because it's a similar size, it's a little bit bigger. Mine fills this out a little bit bigger, but you get the point. Chelsea's camera here, I got a 35 f1.4, 16 to 35 f4. I have some ND filters on this side, some lens heads on this side. When you open this up, there's another pocket in here where I keep my GoPro. And I also have some extra uh, lens caps in here. So the exterior on this bag is like a cotton canvas type material. It isn't the most rigid bag in the world. Unlike the Low Pro, is it's a very hard shell. This is kind of a flimsier shell. That being said, I'm never worried about my camera being in here and getting damaged regardless of the flimsy shell. Like I said, everything's very padded and well secured inside the bag. And I've actually never had any of these dividers come undone. It's always a huge fear of mine that I'm gonna take my camera out, I'll have two more lenses in here, I'll be shooting all day, and then I come back and one of these dividers has come off and the lenses are banging together and it just freaks me out. Lenses are extremely expensive, so to have them banging around is not a good idea at all. But like I said, with this camera bag, I've never had a problem. Uh, another feature that I really appreciate is the side camera pocket. So. When you put your camera in, it's easily accessible from this side here. Meaning when you're out and about and you 
see something you want to take a photo of, you don't have to take your camera bag off, put it on the ground, unzip it, take your camera out, take the photo, put it back in. You can just sling it through the side of your shoulder, grab your camera quick, take the photo, put it back. Easy peasy, you never have to take your backpack off. Above where the camera sits, there's a big empty pocket up here that I like to use for uh, an extra sweater for the day, two gloves. Uh, there's also enough, another little zip right here where I like to put extra batteries or anything like that. Um, SD cards, anything small that I'm gonna lose usually goes up here. You always need a place just to put stuff, whether that, again, whether that's a hat, a toque, um, anything, something you buy at a shop, if you're out traveling, you can just stick it up here. You've got lots of room in the bag. Now the other thing that was really important to me is on the top here, there is a spot to put your laptop. Again, it fits my 15 inch HP Envy. I don't have a 15 inch MacBook Pro. This is actually a little bit bigger than the 15 inch MacBook. And it, it is a snug fit, but it does fit. So it does the job perfectly. You can see at the top that the seams are water, water sealed a bit. So although this bag is water resistant, it's definitely not waterproof. So the last little pocket that I'm gonna talk about is this little guy on the back here. This is good for putting your passport, wallet, cash, um, basically anything you don't want stolen that's critical that doesn't get stolen, this is where you wanna put it. The reason for this pocket being here, like I'm not sure if a lot of people know why they put this here, but this is so that all your valuables can be very close to you. So if you're out in Italy, for example, Italy is a popular place to get pickpocketed. You can stick all your valuable belongings here, like even cash. And when you put the backpack on, it's up against your body. If somebody is gonna try to pickpocket you, it's up against your back so that you'll at least feel it, whether rather than putting it in this very back pocket where if you have your passport in here and you're standing on a bus or something, it'd be very easy for somebody to slip in, take your, uh, take your GoPro and leave. And honestly, once you have this backpack on, the zipper is right on your back, so it's almost gonna be unnoticeable, so nobody's even gonna try to pickpocket you there anyway. It is kinda hidden, so that's kind of a nice feature too. So the last two features that really sold me on this backpack was the side pocket here. The side pocket has elastics on it, so you can fit a bigger water bottle. I always like to stick my gimbal in here, and then I can secure it with this strap up here, and it works perfect every time. Further on the bottom, there's also these tightening straps here, where again, if you wanted, you could put your gimbal. I like to put my tripod so that I save my gimbal for up top here. But yeah, I always put my tripod on the bottom. You could have used it again for a blanket, a sweater, extra clothes or something like that on the bottom. So there it is guys. This is my favorite everyday camera backpack. It's very minimal, it's clean. Again, it's pretty stylish. If I were to show this to you and not tell you that it was a camera backpack, you probably wouldn't even know. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more weekly travel videos, and we hope we can help you find your adventure. Bye.